Hello, hope you're doing great. My name is Oame Kenneth. I'm going to be t taking you on the topic, internet environment and chatting on the web. Before we go into the topic proper, let us take note of the various objectives. By the end of the lesson, learners should be able to define the word internet and chatting, tell what they understand by internet environment, list the different online services provided by the internet, state the two major components of the internet, state the various ways to chat online. Now, what is internet? The internet is a global wide area network that connects computer systems across the world. The internet is a telecommunication network that uses telephone lines, cables, satellite, and wireless connections to connect computers and other devices to the world wide web. In order to connect to the internet, you must have access to the internet service provider which acts as the middleman between you and the internet. Now, internet environment. Before we take note of what internet environment means, let us know about the word environment. The word environment simply means everything around us. Internet environment can be referred to the numerous activities that takes place or surrounds the internet. It also refers to the different online services provided by the internet which includes web, a collection of billions of web pages that you can view with a web browser, Opera Mini, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, and all of that. Email, the most common method of sending and receiving messages online. Social media, websites and apps that allow people to share comments, photos, and videos. Online gaming, games that allow people to play with and against each other over the internet. Software updates, operating system and application updates can typically be downloaded from the internet. Online shopping, buying goods from online markets such as Jumia, Conga, Amazon, etc. Now, this takes us to major components of the internet. More than 4.5 billion people have access to the internet. How does that work? The internet has two major components such as network protocol and hardware. One, network protocol, such as TCP IP. A set of rules that devices must follow to complete communication tasks. Secondly, hardware, which includes computers, smartphones or smart devices, cell phone towers, radios, satellites, servers, stroke cables that transmit information. Now, this is another aspect of our topic, chatting on the web. A lot of people chat on the web. Now you know all sorts of things about the internet but you are probably wondering wouldn't it be nice to talk back and forth with someone without having to continuously send emails online conversations in which you are immediately able to send messages back and forth to one another is called chat now what is chatting it refers to the process of communicating interacting and exchanging messages over the internet now Although chatting is generally safe, you still need to be careful because there are a lot of predators out there. Fortunately, it is simple and easy to have fun, safe chat with someone online. Sometimes you will hear people say they were chatting last night to someone from certain country or state. Chances are that they weren't talking about the telephone, which can cost a few cents or naira every minute. They were probably talking about online chat. Online chat doesn't cost any anything extra as long as you have an internet connection. All right, now ways to chat online. Number one item: use a messenger app to talk with friends and family. You have a lot of options for chatting online with people you know, most of which are free. But with internet connection, here are some apps you might try: Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp. Skype, Snapchat. On our second item, ICQ, generally known as ICQ, is an extremely useful communication program. It allows you to message, send files, send URLs, your uniform resource locators, also known as your web addresses, and more to anyone with uh, to anyone 
else with ICQ. Things to remember when you join a group chat. The conversation has already been going for a while. Read a full page of messages before you type any so you understand what people are talking about. Do not hurt anyone's feelings. These are people you are talking to. Be cautious. You have no idea who these people are. And if you ask them about them, their self, they may lie to you. Keep your message short to the point and clean. Lastly, if you join an offensive group by mistake, leave immediately. Chatting tips for safety. This is very important. Don't give away personal information. Take note of their profile if they have no photo or few friends. If you decide to meet up with someone you're chatting with online, make sure it's in a public place and ideally take a friend with you. Do they use do they refuse to use webcam? Some people may not want to use web camera because they don't want you to know who they are. So be very careful. I sincerely hope you have enjoyed this topic. In summary, we talked about internet, internet environment, major internet components, chatting on the web, which refers to the process of communicating, interacting, or exchanging messages over the internet. And we also talked about the various ways to chat online with messenger apps and ICQ. Now, make sure you, you answer the questions on your assignment list. It will make you understand this topic better. Number one, list the various ways you can chat online. List two major internet components. Is it good to give away personal information of yourself to strangers online? What do you do when you meet an ongoing conversation in your group chat? Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.